the December Festival Hurdle is next and this is a two mile one fur on grade one five year old plus and the top one is Legends Mark Derek Hinton Paddington Stu Gray Rod Laver Paul Rhodes Samoa Sunrise Molly Et Surfer Sunken Royal Leon Van Rensburg Whip Hand Martin Needham Cumba Valara Darren Thompson Frosty Flame Thunderspark Janice Sings Graham Clutterbuck Man Bolin Darren Howes Soggy Bottom David Robertson and the big show Joshua Sutherland away they go then Getting down towards the first flight and top soggy bottom might be the early leader. Here's a legend's mark for Derek Hinton on the inside. He likes to lead, doesn't he? And there we go. Soggy bottom on the outside. Just seven flights to take, which is not too far off the norm. And soggy bottom is the leader as they make the long run towards the first of them. With Frosty Flame in second, legend's mark in third. Padding Ton on the inside is fourth with something raw making a move around the outside along with Man Bolin in the orange jacket. The back marker that is just Cumber Valara who is also widest on the track as they take the first and they all skip over that one okay with Soggy Bottom a clear leader showing his Soggy Bottom to the rest of the field with Legends Mark in second. Padding Ton is next then Whip Hand and something royal with Man Bolin and Frosty Flame and Samoa Sunrise is tucked in nicely on the fence. Janice Sings, Kumba Valara. Let's move forward a little bit in the big show and Rod Laver are the back two. So Margaret Court didn't serve up a winner for Paul Rhodes yesterday. Can Rod Laver serve up a winner for Paul Rhodes in Wimbledon week? It's Soggy Bottom, though it's in the lead. From Legends Mark in second. And Frosty Flame and Kumba Valara. Made good ground around the outside. Skips over the second flight of hurdles, and I'm sure Darren Thompson will be hoping that the jockey on Kumba Malara pulls that one to the inside once he gets clear daylight in front of the others. At the moment, he's still going up the centre of the track, and Soggy Bottom leads from Kumba Malara second. The big show is the one that's the back, and still running a little bit wide as well as they take the third. And you can see the ground that Kumba Malara can potentially give away when they take the turn there because he's about seven wide as they take the fourth and they're all over that one okay with soggy bottom still the leader it's in past the halfway mark now and soggy bottom leads from legends mark second something raw is third then frosty flame as they skip over the fifth then cumber valara samoa sunrise padding ton in mid division whip hand is next to that one then man bowling in the back three in a line of the big show rod laver and janice sings the gray so it's soggy bottom over the second from home then and Clearing the leads, a very long run now to the final flight. Six furlongs plus still to go, and strangely set up trap this one. And Soggy Bottom is the leader from Paddington, who's moved through into second. Then comes Legends Mark the ground on the inside. Cumber Valara still on the outside, is fourth. Then comes Samoa Sunrise on the inside. The one that's creeping through there is Frosty Flame, but it's Soggy Bottom who's still the leader and has led all the way so far. Leads by about two and a half lengths to Frosty Flame. Cumber Valara is now coming a little bit. Whip Hand is now coming around the outside of that one. Also sweeping around the outside is the Big Show. The two that are struggling at the back are Something Royal and Janice Sings. But they've got three and a half furlong still to go. One more flight of hurdles to take. You can see the winning post in the distance. It's Soggy Bottom in the lead. Being chased by Rod Laver and Whip Hand. And on the outside, the Big Show. Samoa Sunrise trying to get through the inside. Cumber Valara has burnt a lot of energy, but he's still there. Legends Mark's beginning to drop, drop away. Frosty Flame is trying to get going. But it's still Soggy Bottom they've got to get by. Soggy Bottom, Rod Laver in second. Then comes the big show, Cumber Valara and Whip Hand. As they make the long run towards the final fight, they've got a four and a half still to go. And Soggy Bottom now being strongly pressed by Rod Laver on the outside. Over they go. The final flight, Rod Laver just about hits the front from Soggy Bottom and the big show. Rod Laver now going up by half a length. Rod Laver is pulling away. Rod Laver's on centre court as they race up towards the line. Rod Laver's going to take it. Strawberries dream all around. Rod Laver's the winner. Soggy Bottom, big show, Cumber Valara, Sonos, and Rose and then and after that one and Rod Laver serves up an ace for Paul Rhodes and wins it with Soggy Bottom second for David Robertson the big show for Joshua Sutherland third Cumber Valara for Darren Thompson was fourth and Samoa Sunrise for Molly Surfer was fifth